feel miserable as fuck, put on the VR glasses, feeling amazing. Everything's incredible, I'm super happy. Take off the glasses, life is shit again. Welcome to episode number 12, and I have amazing news. The metaverse has a groping problem already. Awesome stuff, um, very kind of obvious, and the quick prediction is that I believe in like 10, 20 years or at some point in the future, this VR, this metaverse like environment, this world that is being created, it is going to create a lot of men that are basically inadequate. They would be like sexually like harassing, assaulting, probably do some creepy stalking shit like stalking people on the streets, like taking pictures of them creeping on their neighbors and all that kind of weird creepy stuff that is happening right now but a very kind of like small amount you can say and i believe these numbers are gonna just grow like crazy probably even potentially fucking there's gonna be more people trying to like rape and shit like that and this is where i i'm afraid this is where this whole thing where it's gonna come from is the vr and suppressing the actual like natural desires and trying to like reinvent them with the virtual reality and all that stuff so let's go step by step uh actually one quick thing uh bill gates uh, some time ago like a week ago or something he said that he i believe he said he predicted that about three years from now the business meetings are going to be taking taking place in vr so that's awesome we're moving very fast towards that direction many reasons to do it because it's actually very beneficial you can track humans uh, or like the, pe the people you're with they are like eyes you can probably eventually will be able to track like how they breathe the like the tone or what's it called the the heart rates the beat rate and wait beat rate is another thing uh anyway but the point is you can track so much about like people people's behavior like how fast they respond to you how fast they like let's say respond to your messages or commands or things like that so it's just more information and more like ways to control exactly like what's going on we have all seen these videos where there is like remote person working and they have like a fan turning left and right and the mouse is just in like a one spot and um, like it is being moved by the fan so for the online tracking it seems like you know, since your mouse is always moving around, that means you're working. Like, this is just like the workaround. And uh, it's not efficient, creates problems. So, obviously, what do corporations want? More control to avoid this kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, VR is perfect. You just have to put it on yourself and then they can, like, track the eyes and all that. So, more control, more of those things, and we're moving there very fast. Should have said it so much faster. That's not the point. So, now, the next part is uh, because we are moving there faster and it's gonna be there the obviously porn sexual things all of the like lusty like kinky stuff all of that is gonna be there it's there already realistically um but this is gonna be more it's gonna be like more mainstream it's gonna be more normal because everyone starts doing it just like basically like 15 years ago porn was kind of like a thing where you know like you don't want your friends to know or something like that like when people used to go to school or well or when i used to go to school we would like kind of like joke at each other like haha what the fuck like you're watching porn like that's kind of creepy and shit like that now it's just normal like everything is just like yeah everyone does it it's fine it's completely fine so many problems that that thing creates but um, that kind of goes under the radar because like fuck it it's just like those problems are not that big yet right so or like at least it doesn't affect, I guess, society overall. Like nobody's being hurt or nobody's hurting others. So that's fine probably for now. But with the VR thing, um, yeah, there's, I guess, a lot of like small details that I have to get into. But uh, I have to say right away, if it will not be able to replace the actual like act of sex, the actual these like real life pleasures, mm -hmm then I believe there is literally like the like tons, like thousands of millions of creepy men that are very old, that grew up in the VR world, that are eventually going to like walk outside and just be like, oh my God, like this is what I've seen in my glasses. And, and, and it's going to be just basically fucking eventually a big disaster. 
So let's kind of start from the beginning now. First thing, men always wanted women, girls, they wanted, like it's a super common thing for us. Um, and uh, I cannot speak for like the girl side. I have never been a girl. I didn't know what's it like to be a girl. So I can only speak for the guys part of this whole equation. And I think it's very normal. I think um, like, like thousands of years ago or millions of years ago, like men had to have these like crazy drives for like sexual desire for women to reproduce, to have kids. Maybe like at some point historically, there was like very slim chances of the like, entire humanity of surviving. And because some motherfucker was really horny, <laughs> like that's how we eventually survived. So I think for the entire like human race, like men have to be like that. Now, this was millions of years ago. Now we have like overpopulation or maybe overpopulation. People have so many different opinions. Someone says like 30, 40 billion now people on earth is like completely fine. And someone says like already seven or eight is like too much. So I don't know. But uh, the point is men have this like extremely crazy sex drive because it's just natural, it's normal. Then uh, on, as a side note, it's funny how girls are like, oh, well, that is like creepy. All men are pigs. They just want the same thing. It's so like creepy, like what the fuck? They don't care about us. And it's very hilarious because girls say that or like with their words, they're like in, into that direction. But with their actions, they're all farming the fame, the likes, like showing like half naked pictures and all that. So they're using this like very like basic animal drive for their own benefit. But yet uh, when they have to like be in contact with that, they are instantly like, fuck that. Like, we don't like it. Like, it's kind of hilarious because uh, literally like cherry picking, but that's a whole nother fucking conversation. So men have this crazy drive. And, uh, like recently, let's say literally in the last probably 15 years, I just recently discovered that YouTube is like 16 years old right now, like 16 years ago, YouTube was for the first time like invented and there were like first videos, which is crazy to me because it feels like it's such an old thing, but like there's someone that is like 16 years old right now who is like, you can say like, like a late teenager. I don't know how to determine that age, but like very soon to be like an adult and they are the same age as YouTube. Like that's so crazy. So the point is technology, like Instagram, all these videos, all this like social media, all of this like fame, um, like showing off in front of each other, all that stuff, including porn, including like half naked pictures, like actual like hardcore porn, all kinds of weird twisted shit with like, like fucking porn with like animals or whatever the fuck people do, like all this like messed up stuff. All of that has been like growing, existing and um, becoming available for more eyes to see. And you can see in the recent years, um, there is like data, like it's all over the place. It's like <clears throat> constantly getting into the news that, uh, like teenagers or newer generations having like less sex, boys are like very, a lot less active in terms of like talking with the other gender or doing something or being like proactive. And uh, I don't know if it's good or not. I fucking, how the fuck do I know? But it seems very wrong because this has never been happening in history ever boys were always like proactive and they would like challenge each other and try to do something like invent things or like come up with something cool or interesting to i guess please girls or like attract them or show off in front of them so it's kind of like a natural balance that we had so now this thing is breaking apart and i know i don't know if it's good or not it can be good it can be like amazing we're gonna maybe become actually like more balanced in a way but maybe not like who who knows because realistically you if you listen to girls they say well yeah like i want a man like this like this like this but what the the things they actually respond to is like a very confident type of man or guy that like knows what they want goes for what they want not someone who's like kind of like shy and kind of like oh i'm not sure like who's gonna like ask for like, I don't know, added an advice or like, oh, can I like do this for you? Can I like, like, it's weird. 
it's just it's, it's weird for girls it's weird kind of like socially for everyone i feel like so anyway back to the point um with the social media with the porn available for to everyone for free whereas like like all these things are like going basically off charts uh guys are kind of mentally replacing that from the real world interactions so basically porn replaces actual girls that's really like oversimplified situation because even like on the there's so much science like that shows like uh, if you look at porn it kind of like your brain wires itself that you are kind of having this intercourse with all these girls but it's kind of not it, it, there's all this like messed up stuff going on so um the porn slowly replacing that which makes guys a lot less courageous or like be more motivated to actually talk with real girls in the real life which then has this small disconnect because girls still want to meet a guy it doesn't matter even if they're like super hateful or pissed about all the guys like eventually they still kind of hope that there is someone adequate there that is like well you know i, I hope um, i can meet this guy eventually you know and uh but there's gonna be no one there because guys are not motivated anymore to push themselves to become the good guy or or something like that mostly guys are just it, like porn replaces all of the needs that you have if we are comes it's even more like that or basically you're like almost replacing what you want this is like a small nuance like if vr is as i said like before if it's going to be like better or exactly like the like real life sex is then i guess guys are going to be dissatisfied and then there's going to be like a massive disconnect like women are here men are here men are having sex with like robots like virtual these like fucking things that do this kind of stuff and then that's it like there is no reproduction anymore and uh, i believe obviously it's not gonna happen like like everyone's gonna be in that but i believe like big like big amounts of people and big i don't know maybe it's gonna be like three percent of the entire population but it's gonna be like they are gonna fall into that trap it's it can be a reality and maybe it's gonna be like 30 percent or 60 percent of the entire population because vr is cooler easier interesting you can do so much there and like you want to watch porn boom right here and it's better than real life but here's the point here's where this like all kind of goes to and uh of course my neighbor decided to fucking drill something right now best fucking timing ever but uh i hope you cannot see cannot hear him and i hope you cannot see him as well uh so I forgot what I was talking about. God damn it. Um, yeah, right. The guys uh, losing motivation, not actually like doing things in real life. Girls are kind of like being a defect of that guys and, and all this stuff. So back, back to VR, back, just said back. Um, if um, there is a lot of, I guess, a lot of, like this mainstream direction like the same thing we see it with porn so it became mainstream it became accepted it became normalized like everyone's doing it and it's fine so it's okay to do if the same thing happens with vr and i think it eventually will because it's just like it's such a common sense like the first thing on the internet is like this like the most popular ones is porn is all of these like sex things that's what sells the most on the internet so this is gonna be the biggest industry and money kind of like sets the direction because if people buy that then people create that if people create that more people buy that it's a loop that just doesn't stop so if guys get into this vr porn vr not just vr porn because it's already it already exists i mean things like you have like a robot that does it for you as you also see it happening in vr and uh, let's say if it does not satisfy entirely so i don't know how it works like in like a full picture in the brain but let's say your physical needs are met but mentally you still feel like alone you still feel like you're not 
understood, you're not like... You, you're gonna feel like shit. That's how porn makes you feel already. And maybe VR porn is gonna make you feel even more like shit. But it feels really good, right? So there's a hook, so you get attached, you get addicted, you keep like doing it and doing it, like you don't wanna stop doing that. So it just kinda like keeps, keeps going like that. Dude, God damn it, this fucking neighbor. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you wanna keep going. And then what happens is you kinda like, I don't know, burn yourself or like, wear 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 yourself out kind of like by just abusing this porn and like doing all that and then let's say like years pass because it's gonna develop slowly it's gonna become better it's gonna become normalized everyone's gonna do it it's gonna be cool better trendy popular there's gonna be like jokes about it songs about it like all of that's gonna be happening and then let's say you are a guy that is like now in his like 30s or 40s a man pretty much and you have been doing it for, let's say, last 10, 15, 20 years. You're maximum disconnected from real, real, reality and like how girls actually are, like how the world actually works. You're like completely far away from that. But you have been wiring yourself and training yourself that, you know, just like in porn, you like you do this and the girls in like underwear come to you and they do everything to you and you're like, please, and it's amazing. So mentally you're destroyed, you're like literally in the other world, but physically you're still here around like real life people. And let's say something kicks in where you're like, well, I actually want to have a kid or something like that. I just do not see how these men are going to be like, well, actually, no, let me work on myself. Holy shit. I've been a loser for the last 20 years. I've been so miserable. I've been like jacking off with these fucking robot machines. I should stop that. You know what? And I should become really healthy and balanced. Take care of my like fucking health, finances and uh, my spiritual side, whatever it is. And let me actually find a good, solid, beautiful, stable partner that I can have family with. Like, that's just saying that just sounds fucking hilarious. Maybe one person will decide to do that, like out of like millions, but it's not gonna be the case. So let's go back to this first thing I said. There's already like groping and creepy shit in VR happening. Like people would like stalk and grab because they're closer to girls, but there is like kind of like this virtual fence between them. So they can just do creepy shit and it's okay. And I don't know, like, eventually how the VR is going to, like, affect the brain and how it's going to be, like, are people going to, like, confuse the reality with the virtual world or, you know, I don't know how it's going to be. But I feel like there can be a lot of these cases where the guy that has, like, wasted 20 years of his life jer jerking off to, like, some weird shit with girls that have, like, cat, like, ears growing out of their heads... And now he's in the real life and he's like, oh, well, like, it looks like, like, this person looks exactly like what I, like, saw in all this porn. Like, this should be like that. So, I believe, again, someone who's being disconnected socially from others, who doesn't even, like, understand, like, what's okay and what's not. Not even, like, proactively, but people will be, like, stalking others, like a, like an, I don't know, like a girl or a woman, if they see, and they're like, oh, like, she's beautiful, oh, and, like, they're just gonna, like, follow her, or, like, try to, like, take photos of her, or shit like that, especially if uh, you can now work in VR, let's say, like, let's imagine, just as an, an example, 10 years from now, you can literally live your entire life from home, and enjoy all the pleasures through the VR world, and you don't even need to go outside, um, besides all the health issues that that creates, but let's say you're going to be like, well, okay, I'm going to live that kind of life. Like after you're out of that and you're actually stepping outside. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's scary. I'm, I just, I thought about this and I feel like, let's say 10, 20 years from now, if I'm going to have a family, if I'm going to have kids and let's say I live in some place where there is like a guy that creepy guy, that creepy old kind of guy that is like 30, 40 or what, like around that stuff, that lives alone, that is like barely going outside. 
and I'm already 100% sure that he has those VR glasses and he does all those creepy shits in the virtual world. I don't want my kids near that guy. I literally, like, I don't want... Because I feel like he's a big threat. First of all, he's socially inadequate and completely, like, disconnected from, like, how actual real human beings operate and work. So that's a big fucking threat. On top of that, as I said, there is this natural drive for, like, the sexual desires, for the sexual needs. Guys have it. It's very, very strong. And uh, one side, one note, one side note on this thing is that um, there's also a lot of reports that a lot of men uh, have, like, extremely weakened and low testosterone levels. Very interesting if it's just a consequence or it is happening and... Uh, maybe that is a good thing because if you in theory let's say in all men you lower the testosterone levels why because you know like the lifestyle becomes unactive you just sit at like one place you don't do anything physical so that lowers your testosterone then the food you eat probably can you know do something there that is not going to be like impacting your body so well so then you're kind of like growing and like expanding like you know like developing basically like you should but uh, your drives and testosterone levels are very very low so then in the end it kind of can be a good thing because let's say overall it makes a lot uh, less like dangerous men or aggressive even like sexually aggressive so it kind of should take things to the safer place because nobody's gonna like if uh, you're not full of testosterone you're like all aggressive and like you know ready to fight someone and things like that you're probably a lot less likely to like rape someone or stalk someone or do shit like that so maybe this is the connection point if all of the testosterone levels go to shit all guys become like very weak and soft and you can kind of see these trends like it's a very real thing it's very scary but this is very real because the new like the newer generations like you can kind of very like clearly like almost clearly see like generally speaking of course there are some guys that are like full of testosterone you can see like they're like very like strong and like buffed and all that but uh like on average it kind of becomes clear so then this average puts on the vr glasses and then you know you don't know what's gonna happen like they're either become like super weak and basically just fall prey to this pleasant beautiful vr world where you basically replace everything and um, make vr your like entire reality or there's that's the fucking risky part that's what i'm trying to like explain here is that if it's not good enough if you still have let's say your testosterone is weakened and like lowered to like extreme levels but you still have those drives where you're like fuck i have i want to have a family i want to have like like a real person with me uh, I want to meet, like, a real girlfriend. Um, yeah, then this whole thing can be very fucking crazy. Mm, yeah, and I, I feel... Also, one more thing. There is... Um, with just socially, overall, before this COVID, before these lockdowns, before the metaverse, like, was announced and all of this, there was such a crazy disconnect already because most guys just decided to play video games and what do video games do? They disconnect you from real world because you don't go outside, you don't socialize, you don't meet people, you don't compete in real life, you don't like socially learn how other people react to you, what's funny, what's not. You are kind of like trained to do that by scanning like the expressions of a person that you're talking to. Are they smiling? Are they laughing? How's their like body language? How's their like tonality? All of that. So you cut all of these things out and then when you, let's say, go out, when you are like, you play it for like 10 years of video games, then you go out and that's where you're just disconnected. Like you don't understand anything, like nothing makes sense, everything's weird. You're saying, oh, these people are like partying or laughing on something, but you don't get it. Like, why are they doing that? And why, like, where does this come from? It's because you're disconnected because you like socially are unaware of what is happening. And that's a huge problem. And uh, 
like deep inside I'm, I'm super convinced of this but deep inside everyone wants to be accepted and understood and be like part of a group have friends be liked be loved be you know like laugh at things be like at peace be at ease things like that everyone wants that and well fucking solution to get that is very difficult so our society is not really structured right now to really get the solution right we're only fixing like what's on the surface just like oh well this one little thing like pretend you know like pretend it fixes something pretend you like solved the problem problem a little bit and then the actual like deep roots of the problem remain and then yeah it creates a perfect society where you can sell them more people more quick solutions and fucking everything becomes just a loop and disaster and all that so um yeah so anyway so these are my thoughts i really um as i said i'm concerned and i'm worried um and i don't know how it's gonna play out but i feel like if let's say these like small pieces of a puzzle will fall together perfectly considering right um the vr world is not the sexual parts and all of that is not as good as real life and realistically just just gonna say realistically until it is like so 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 good that it can replace real life i just don't believe it's gonna be done in 10 years or even 20 years because you cannot like make a robot or like a doll or like all of these things combined that will be like exactly like a human or better like you just can't like there is so much there like it's 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 hilarious to even say that right like you cannot replace a human with a robot of course you can there is like it's a human you can like you cannot replace a human with anything else like it's not even like a discussion so the question like will they do it so good that it's gonna be so good like of course like not of course not it's like impossible at some point eventually like you know like a very distant future maybe like maybe 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 uh but this near future that we're dealing with and that we're like running towards to right now this is very fucking concerning and uh yeah i just don't know and again the point is if that's gonna happen the main are gonna be the ones who will be blamed more for being creepy and stalking and like even like raping and all that and of course it's their fault but then how did they get here how did they get to this lifestyle where they're so miserable so disconnected so not understanding anything like yes it's their fault but also it's the environment that creates like this shitty like reality for people where yeah you are just chasing all the like quick pleasures it like pulls you down to the lowest levels and then you're just like kind of hopeless um and as always it's probably gonna be a lot of people who will like wake up uh are gonna, gonna be like okay this is bullshit like real life is so much more meaningful and like there's always that there's like good and bad and bad and good so that's that's also the real part but um yeah vr thing i don't know i hope it's not gonna be as uh scary as it can be um you always gotta hope for the best but uh i think yeah i think that's just raises so many concerns and the even i guess more concerning is that we're moving towards i think very very fast and uh there is really no kind of discussions about side effects of all of that or like how it impacts your mental health for example like how many for how many years we had social media for like a really like like what 10 15 years something like that and how many studies are there that are showing how it impacts your like mental health that are very public that are very like pushing for people to see the truth and like understand what it's actually doing to you like there's a little bit here and there sometimes there's like a good documentary that comes out that says like oh look like this is bad this is not okay oh be careful this is a little bit like you know not not really good for you <laughs> but uh, yeah if you look at the like statistics of like people who are looking for like a suicide that are like teenagers or like really young people that are just fucking completely like pulled away from like real world 
that's nasty that's very sad and like there is not a lot of talk about these things because it's like yeah fuck it like you know there's some layers of society that are dealing with that but it doesn't matter we're all like gonna just enjoy it and kind of pretend that it's not there but yeah it's scary because we're like enhancing the version of social media to make it more and more and stronger and like more impactful and like mess with your mental state even more so where is it gonna lead it's kind of obvious to see isn't it and at this point i also want to say i believe it's nothing like you shouldn't be like scared of these kind of things it's good to learn the new stuff test it experiment try just talked about the vr porn that's probably like you know like a good joke to make like gotta try the vr porn and all of that um but at least like people invented something so that's cool so you know like check it out see like maybe you can actually make a business out of it or get the service that will help people deal with their problems maybe it's going to be actually like a good type of business where you're trying to solve their like misery and like all these things so there's a lot to be done there but um yeah i'm, I'm saying this like you, you can't just like force something out um of like people are inventing something and creating you're like no 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 like you cannot put a hard stop especially when it uh like pleases all of the like the main needs uh of basically now the like the society like the most the majority of of people i guess so it's gonna be like uh beneficial popular it's gonna grow like quite trendy so yeah um all that i think uh let me let me see if i got something else to add uh this and that probably probably that's gonna be it um <laughs> yeah creepy creepy guys in vr these are my notes creepy guys in vr bill gates on vr and meta uh, millennials, Gen Z, all this kind of stuff. Yeah, so I hope um, I got all my thoughts out. I think I have. So that's it for now, and um, thank you for watching.